Whoa, what's going on you beautiful steppers? As you can see, we are back in the bathroom, but hey, I think you know why we're here. About a year and a half ago, I released a video about me losing my hair, but today I think you might be losing your hair, so come here, come here, give me a hug, come here, yeah, right there, mm. got you together, got you together, there you go, alright, looking good, you're looking good, don't worry about it guys, look, you're losing your hair, you're not losing your life, you're going to find a new life actually, and with SMP, you got hope, you got hope, <laughs> there's hope guys, scalp micropigmentation, that you can actually bring your hairline back to life and we're going to see that today so if you'd like to skip to the actual hairline procedure and the scalp micropigmentation uh, procedure then you know click those chapters I got chapter marks right here but if you'd like to hear a little bit of story about self-confidence and a little bit of this backstory right here then uh, stick with me for a while alright now guys first off as I mentioned I did start losing my hair about I was about 18 years old, 19 years old, when it really, I say 19, 20, when I really like noticed um, a difference. And I started using Rogaine at 22 per doctor's advice. The doctor had recommended it, so I just was like, all right. But I started shedding a lot and it ended up just exacerbating everything that I was going through. So that was my journey pretty much of hair loss. Um, if you'd like to learn more about that specifically, Go ahead and click the link in the description or that link up there with the video. Now, as it comes to now, from the point I released that video to now, my confidence has really risen. I've become really complete, aligned with my inner self, my, my confidence, and just accepted what has happened. Like, all right, this is the stage of life that I'm in right now, whatever. Now, me releasing that video helped. And the reason why I did release that video is because... I was at a point in life with me, you know, releasing content, being a content creator, if you like to call that, an artist creator, all of those things, right? I'm looking at myself every day. I'm looking at myself and I'm looking at, you know, edits and all this and I'm like, oh my goodness, if people are watching this and they're only looking at my hair. They're not listening to anything I'm saying. So this is what I was thinking, right? So I had one or two options. It was either to stop doing the content creation until my hair starts to grow back and uh, I would have been waiting still or being able to uh, release a video, right? And being able to release a video. So being able to release the video was my way of being able to just say, hey, this is what's going on. And uh, you know, either you're gonna like it or love it or just you know, turn it off either way. That's, it's not, it's, it's out of my hands, right? So that being said, it helped me. But I'm grateful that I did release it because it gave me perspective on life. Where I was at, at that stage of life to where I'm at now are two completely two completely different people internally. So my biggest thing for you guys is try to come complete internally with yourself because when you really become complete within yourself, being able to like accept what you see in the mirror is what I'm saying, right? Being able to feel okay with what you see in the mirror, then your world starts to open up to you, right? Your world starts to open up in different ways and you start to see things for what they are. You start to see outside of yourself when it comes to you know your own insecurities and things like that. There are other people that have other insecurities that may have a full head of hair. You get what I'm saying? So just being able to accept yourself for who you are in this present moment and being able to acknowledge that there are going to be different moments. Now, let's get to how I figured out about scalp micropigmentation. Now, I got a haircut about two months ago when I first moved down here to Florida. I just came from uh, Arizona. So moving, you know, switching my barbers up, ended up having, you know, different barbers and that can really do a shock to your hair, especially when it's already in a fragile stage. So the barber that I switched to ended up cutting my hair really low. So I was like, dang, like, dang, my hair is really low. So <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you, I was like, dang. Now, I was able to, you know what I'm saying, I was still, still being myself, getting, you know what I'm saying, I was cool, right? So that being said though, when it came to internally, you know, speaking about internal like confidence, I just was like, ah, like I'm really like about to go bald. Like, I mean, you guys see my hair. Um, I'll put some pictures right there, but no, that really was like a day for me. I'm not gonna lie, I was like, wow, it's really. <laughs> I was just accepting it though, because I had to, because I had to keep releasing videos and had to keep living life, you know what I'm saying? But I really wasn't aligned with it. I was like, wow, something gotta change. So anyway, I went to a new barber. <laughs> I switched, to, I switched my barber up down here because I wasn't feeling him cutting it that low. So I went to another barber and that guy cut me really low, but he also recommended scalp micropigmentation. So I started looking up what is scalp micropigmentation. 
So I looked into it. He had it done on his head, and um, I was like, all right, you know, this is something I might do. So, you know, at first I was going to get it done by him, but he uh, he was, like, new into the business, right? So now as it pertains to newness of the business or who you want to work with, me personally, I understand that experience is almost priceless, guys. There's just certain things that as you co as you go along you just pick up certain things that someone that's new they just don't get the chance to learn yet so that to me is worth you know it's worth whatever so this being said i decided to look more into scott micro skype micro pigmentation discovered this guy uh taylor perry and um he's one of the goats of scott micro pigmentation <laughs> So he teaches other people how to do scalp micro, scalp micro pigmentation, which is helping me because I'm a little bit nervous right now. I ain't gonna hold y'all up. We about to head there like right now, and I'm a little nervous. <laughs> but knowing that, you know what I'm saying, he, he doing his one-two out there, uh, it gives me a bit of a peace of mind being able to feel like, all right, I'm in good hands. I'm in good hands. So I do recommend you guys, you know what I'm saying, do whatever helps you sleep at night. Peace of mind is priceless. This is a permanent procedure, and maybe we'll get some more details about it from him, but just a little bit of overview about this procedure itself. It's a permanent procedure. Uh, it, lasts, it lasts a minute and uh, <laughs> lasts for two minutes, right? Now, it lasts for about five or ten years, and you may have to get it like a, um, uh, a, a like touch-up every so often, right? So that's the basis of it, and it's not a, like a it's not the same ink as an actual tattoo. It's like a different ink as like a tattoo, like to be on top of your layer. It's not like all the way in your layer. Look, if you're here, you probably know more about it than me. All right, I know a little bit about it though. <laughs> I know enough to feel comfortable with getting it. Okay, but the point is, it's not a real, real tattoo. It's some dots, and it's a little bit of ink, and it's not all the way in your skin. All right. So that being said, guys, um, one last thing. One last thing, one little thing. Look, as it pertains to becoming comfortable with yourself and being comfortable with yourself, I don't recommend you out there hat fishing people. <laughs> Look, you gotta do whatever makes you feel comfortable, but just know if you meet somebody with that hat on, you gotta take the hat off. And that's how I always looked at it. Like, I'm like, all right, my hair is going out, you know, my hair, you know what I'm saying, whatever, whatever. I actually feel like my hair is getting a lot thicker than when it was when I was in the, um, Arizona because I was in the desert versus being in a humid climate. It's really starting to help, and it, with Rogaine, I've been able to stop shedding. Um, been able to stop shedding about three months ago, three or four months ago. So that could have been. I, I really think a lot of it was Rogaine too. So all of that being said, guys, let's get to stepping. I know you see the scenery, but I did not mention where we are at today. So today we are out here in Florida, um, Hollywood, Florida, Fort Lauderdale, Miami area. And we are here to see Scout Micropigmentation Specialist, Mr. Taylor Perry. This guy is a goat of the field. He's teaching other people how to do it. So although I am a little bit nervous right now, it does give me some peace of mind knowing that he teaches other people. So I came across Taylor Perry on YouTube. Um, as I mentioned earlier, somebody else that was beginning scalp micropigmentation had told me about the procedure, had said they would do it for me, you know, for a beginner's price. However, it wasn't about the price so much for me as about the experience and the peace of mind itself. Again, peace of mind is priceless. So that being said, I just started Googling and YouTubing, you know, scalp micropigmentation. And I came across Taylor Perry YouTube channel. And when I discovered that he was out here in Florida, in South Florida, I was so excited. So, um... Yeah, that being said, I, it ended up just making me feel like, all right, this is the right decision. You know, he's close to where I'm at, so might as well go ahead and go through with it. So that being said, you know, 
I watched his videos on YouTube. Check out his YouTube channel if you haven't, if you're thinking about doing it. He has videos of him teaching other people how to do it and also showing other people why he's teaching it. That is enough to make you feel secure with your decision with going with him, all right? So, uh, but let's see. Let's see what's really about to happen. The moment of truth is here. Yo, what's up, Stephen? So we're here about to get some nice uh, breakfast this morning. I do enjoy food, I really enjoy food. But um, as we're here, let's discuss expectations. What are we expecting from this procedure? Um, I think that's something you really gotta consider if you're thinking about getting this. You gotta really think about what you're expecting. So I say for myself, what I'm expecting is uh, for number one, I want it to look realistic. I want it to look realistic. Um, you know, I don't want it to look like like, you know, so I don't want to look fake, I want to look realistic, actually. So, looking realistic, and also I want it to, um, I want to feel good. I want to feel good after I get it. Like, I want to, I want to feel good. I know it's going to be new, so it's going to be something to get used to, but I want to feel good. So, I say for me, those are the top two. It being realistic, and I feel good. So, for me, that's what it is. <laughs> realistic and feel good. All right, now I'm about to eat this food. And All right, let's walk some of this food off before we get in there. <laughs> Whoa, what's up, Stepper? You might be wondering why we're not there yet. There was a small scheduling uh, conflict, nothing big. So decided to hit up the park because after you get your procedure, you uh, you can't be sweating. No sweat, no direct sunlight for like 10 days, um, for the first 10 days for the procedure, pretty much. So that being said, you know, you really ain't working out. And I like being in nature. I like working out. Today we out here at Holland Park. See this little observation deck right there. Um, so, you know, being able to work out and, you know, do things like that and not being able to do that is something you got to take into account. So depending on the kind of lifestyle you live, if you sweat a lot and things like that, you're going to have to stop doing those activities that make you sweat. And that's, uh, you know, depending on your lifestyle, that could be something you got to take into account. So, yeah, I'm about to be out here in nature for a little second this observation deck is cool this is called holland park and um it is in hollywood hey so yeah i'm about to take advantage of this little time be able to absorb some sceneries and it's real cool how that goes up and um, pretty soon here we'll begin to start it. It's funny how the universe works, you know, because I was really thinking about that. Like, man, I'm not gonna be able to be sweating, going to the park. I have to go like really early in the morning. Um, right now it's like 10 something. Sun is already out as you can see, but it ain't, it ain't terrible right now, you know, man. Not terrible at all. Maximum of 16 people. So what happened if 17 people get up here? <laughs> it's over. 17 people get over here. It's done. Drawbridge. Beach is right over there. Come on. I ain't bring y'all this far to not go all the way up. Y'all know how we rock. Let's get up there. Let's get up there. Left my keys in the car. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. What's the views from the top look like? Maximum of eight people. Man, on a busy day. I wonder if people follow the rules. What y'all think? Comment below. Hey, here we go. Views. Probably just right. And I don't know if you can see it, but that's the ocean. One thing I like about Hollywood Beach is that boardwalk. You see those birds? <laughs> they kind of, they getting it. 
I like that boardwalk down here. It's like right on the beach. Like the boardwalk is right on the beach. It ain't no like, it ain't no road separating it. All right, y'all. Let me chill. I'll see you stepper soon. Until next time, as always. All right, steppers. So I am here and uh, decided to park in this garage um, behind uh, the actual place. It's like a dollar an hour parking, which is really good down here. A dollar an hour, like really good. I was like, dang, okay. So uh, walking in and um, yeah, here we go, here we go. Here's the topic. By the way, I never use topics or anything like that. If y'all were wondering, I ain't never used no cover up, no hair cover up, stuff like that. I just, uh, that's just not me. Um, I understand like you'll sweat it out and like things like that. And also I just, like I said earlier, like I just feel like embracing yourself is the best way to go. That's how you, you know, at least for me, that's what helps me sleep at night. But everybody's different. If the topic stuff work for you and all that, do that. I just felt like it gotta come off at some point. So, you know, I, I always thought if I would do a, a hair solution, um, it would have to be something permanent. So, <laughs> it's a permanent as it can get. <laughs> hey man, you already know. What's up, Stepper? So I'm in here, a little bit nervous, but I just, you know, ran into the Majestic, one of the guys in here. Yeah, come on, man, you know who it is. You already know. <laughs> hey, we about to lace him up. He's excited, but he's nervous, and that's normal. Yeah, exactly. Everybody, he, exactly. Was, he was the same way. My yeah. man over here is the same way. Right, I'm about right, to lace right. him up. Taylor's gonna do his. I'm gonna do my friend over here, and um, everybody's always nervous, but it's it's cool. All of it's cool. We're gonna we're gonna get ready. We're gonna get ready. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Appreciate it, man. So I'm in here, guys. Got some water to cool me out. Um, take a look at the area. But, but yeah, so when barbers came in, mm -hmm. we adopted the fading. Mm -hmm. We put the fading effect that we do on the haircuts, right. we made it with SMPs. Gotcha. Now, the, the, the fading effect mm -hmm. is what now is very popular in SMPs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, because it looks like they like people got a permanent yeah, haircut. Mm -hmm. yeah, just, yeah, it looks like you got a permanent one. haircut. And then we, we, we came in with the straight lineups, mm -hmm. very nice and framed. Mm -hmm. To the to the person facial features, we brought that into the scalp micropigmentation yeah. too. So so barbers took SMP to the next level. Mm. <laughs> What's going on, Steppers? I'm here with my man, Taylor Perry. About to get this fixed up. Excited to see what he about to do with this. It's been a long time coming, but I'm here. So as always, get to stepping. What's up, everybody? You heard him. I'm Taylor Perry. We're in Taylor Perry Studios, and we're about to start this SMP. The first step is discussing what type of haircut he wants for himself, what does he envision for him after we do this SMP, and I'm gonna go ahead and give him a really nice haircut, draw the hairline on, make sure that's exactly what he wants, and we're gonna get this SMP started, so check this out. Man, what's up, Steppers, we in a chair. As you can see, the phone is shaking a little bit. I'm a little nervous, man, I'm nervous. I don't know what's about to happen, but we're here, we're here. One thing you guys should note is that, you know, I decided to go, I guess, a little bit higher with my hair. I'm not sure, you know, I may get a transplant sometime, but at this present moment, I'm going higher because you can always go lower, but you cannot go back higher. So that's something you may want to take into account, but ah, it's about to happen, let's do it. Wow. Oh. That 
Yeah. It's crazy. You always wonder how it will feel. And like, you can feel the stubbles of your hair, but you don't really actually feel, I don't want to touch it too much, but. Well, that's, what, that's it guys. I just got it. I mean, that's what it is. <laughs> Yo, Steppers, so we here, man. As you can see, I'm walking back to the car. It's all done and it's really wild. Like I'm just looking at myself like, you can actually see a line. You can actually see, like, I didn't know really what else to say when, like, when my reaction, cause I'm like, what, you can actually see a line. Like, I mean, I know you're gonna see one, but like, you can actually see one. It's gonna take me a minute to get used to. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's gonna take me some getting used to, but over the course of the next couple of days, it won't be so red right there. Like right now, all of this is really red. It'll blend more with the color, but it'll also lighten a little bit more. Uh, this was the first session. So there are two sessions that you like supposed to get. So the first session, it lays the layer and then you put everything into it, like pop, 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 pop. So you put everything in the middle of it so it looks more in depth and it'll be a little bit darker. And then there's an optional third session that you can get if you want to get a third session. Then that third session basically just makes it more like darker, make it more popping. But bro, like that's, I really see, I don't know what else to say except I really see. <laughs> it's the only thing I really can say. Wow. I mean, I think I like the length. I haven't been home yet. I'm gonna take some time to really absorb everything over the next couple of days. But like, I like the the length, the placement of the hairline right now. Very natural. I said I wanted to be natural. So definitely hit right there. And as far as expectations, I said I wanted to be natural. It's definitely natural. And what else did I say? I said I wanted it to. Uh, so I wanted it to make me feel good. That's what I said, feel good. And I feel good. Like, I mean, I was feeling good, like, regardless. But I'm just saying, like, I feel good about the procedure itself. Like, I actually feel good about what I, I see. And I, the, the naturalness is what makes me feel good as well. Like, it's not, it's not aggressive. All right, let me stop looking at myself. Um, <laughs> let's see what happens next. <laughs> Well, what's going on, you beautiful steppers? How you feeling? How you doing? How you feeling? How you doing? You got questions, I got answers, so let's get right into it. First thing you might be wondering is, how did the experience go? Next, you might be wondering, how do I feel about the experience? And I know you are wondering how much it costs. So we'll get into those three things. In addition, I just cut my hair for the first time myself. So I actually just cut my hair for the first time myself in my entire life, not just after this experience. So that was an experience for me, so we'll get into that as well. And lastly, let's get into, you know, do I recommend this to a friend, right? <laughs> Would I recommend this to any of you steppers out there? Would I recommend you get this procedure done? And do I recommend, um, you get it, who do I recommend you get it done by, right? So we'll go into that as well. So first thing first, what do I think about the experience? Well, what is the experience? So the experience was I got in there and I was first greeted by Majestic. So you guys saw Majestic in the video. He's one of the artists in the Taylor Perry studio and he's a complete professional as well, knows what he's talking about. So it was insightful learning some things from him just about the industry and about, you know what I'm saying, his specific practice and you know his specific story so he's very talented check him out if you guys get a chance next i was greeted by taylor perry he came in i took care of the payment once i took care of the payment it became clear just actually as i was talking to majestic how nervous i was guys i was just i was nervous right so for myself the thinking back on the whole experience the one thing i would do different right now is just have somebody there to actually videotape it because i'm like I'm like trying to just contemplate everything, making a great video, and also like how is everything about to turn out. So, yeah, there was a lot. But that being said, though, once we actually got um, done with the payment process, Taylor Perry was cool with creating content. So that was something you know, if you want to, if you're thinking about that for yourself, he's cool with the whole content thing. So we were able to get some content created and sat in the chair and got the cutting off the hair, talking a little bit. It was a cool vibe. Um, it definitely helped for myself that there was somebody else there getting their procedure done as well. So there was another guy that Majestic was doing uh, right beside us. So that really just helped just the overall feel of the environment, right? It felt more like a barbershop kind of feel. So it was real cool just chopping it up a bit. Um, then 
the, the real part came, right? So the real part came for him to test out the hairline, seeing where he go put it at. So you guys already seen that in the video, but as far as how I was feeling internally, um, before the you know, camera the camera popped out, I expressed to him because he was like, you know what I'm saying? What do you uh, think about your hairline placement? So I was like, I don't know. Like, you know what I'm saying? What do you think? <laughs> so he's like, uh, well, do you have like kind of an idea? So I did have an idea. So I like pointed. So I was like about right there. So he was like, okay, that's about kind of where I'm thinking that. He was like, uh, I was like, I do want to make sure um, that I, I'm able to get a hair transplant. Like, should I ever want one? So I kind of said like if, but like I do want a hair transplant. So I'm voicing that here today. Um, so that being said though, when I, him taking that to an account, he was like, okay, uh, he placed the hairline. He was like, so me personally, I would have went lower um, if, you, if you're not taking into account for the hair transplant. And the reason why you gotta take into account for a hair transplant is because the thickness of your hair, right? So the actual depth of your hair, the thickness of it, around the hairline, like you only have so much hair, you only have so much donor space. So this being said, if you have, if you want it to be not looking very thin, if you want it to look natural and thick at your hairline, you can't have it pushed up too much. So that being said, uh, he was like, you know, what do you think about this? So I was like, I mean, like, it looked it look cool. I'm like, I really don't know what to expect because it's just white lines on my head. So it's different when you have white lines on your head after you've had your hairline, you know what I'm saying, gone for a little second. So you're kind of like, right now it's just white lines. So I don't really know, but it looked cool. So he was like, okay. So he had somebody else there, um, shout out to Max. He was there helping out with a lot of stuff. And he also just, he was like, look good to me. So everybody basically agreed, like, all right, looks good. So got the process started. And one thing that actually made me feel even more comfortable about the hairline placement is that he said, you can always start higher and then go lower, but you don't want to go lower and then want to go higher because you know what I'm saying? Then you got to get laser surgery and all type of crazy stuff, right? So this is the first session, right? So there's two more sessions. There's an optional third session, but there's definitely a second session that you uh, that you will have to do. So my next session is at the beginning of next month. So this being said, once we got that situated, we sat back in the chair and he got to doing the needle. So one thing about me, guys, I don't like needles. I have several tattoos and I know you've maybe wondering, did it hurt? OK, so I can tell you for myself, I felt it and I would liken it to like when you're getting a chest tattoo. So you got a you know, tattoo right here on your whole chest. The closer you get to the nipple, the more it hurts, right? So the closer you get to that nipple part, the more it hurts. But when you're at the center chest, it don't really hurt that much because you got a lot of meat and everything right there. So I would say the nipple was like your forehead and, or anywhere that you did not have hair before. So if you already did not have hair there, then you're having a little needle go up and down, like I felt it. I was like, ugh, like, ha. <laughs> but I'm also tender-headed myself. So that's something you may want to take into account. I, I'll make them tender headed. Uh, when I get my hair braided, it really, I feel it. So this being said, it was nothing that I could not handle, but it was about an hour, hour and a half for myself of just kind of being uncomfortable. But at the end of it, I kind of got used to it and I almost kind of wanted to like fill it again just so I can be like, all right, I got it now, I got it. So I get to fill it again uh, next month, which is good. But at the same time, yeah, you, you definitely feel it. Um, nothing major. So you feel it though. So now at this point of things, once everything got wrapped up and he reviewed it to me, that was a genuine reaction, guys. I didn't know what to really say except I have a hairline. Like I didn't know what to say except I have a hairline. I was, I was like, wow, right? So over the, the, the next days and everything progressed, made sure I got the aftercare uh, kit. That was cool, got me hooked up with that one, um, aftercare serum. And he also got me hooked up with the signature phone. Definitely appreciate these. So these have helped just because the soothing of it, right? So I know you might be thinking, how does it feel afterwards, right? So I could have just did this video right afterwards, but I want you guys to get the full, how my mind frame progressed, right? So this is how I was looking after the procedure as I'm, you know what I'm saying, looking at myself in the mirror, looking at myself. This is how I was looking right there. So you guys see how I'm looking. Uh, it really helped with the foam and the aftercare kit because it, it soothes it. So it was really more red. Not as red now, but it was really more red, right? So with it looking this red and also me feeling it, like the, the serum really helped soothe everything down and then the foam helped me just like clean it off, right? So I didn't have to worry about wetting the, uh, getting the shower and only wetting a little bit and just doing a little stuff that 
wasn't made everything more complex. So the foam made the process of cleaning very simple, which I like, right? I personally like the simple part of it because it's already a new part, right? It's already a new process. So everything's still being new as it is right now in this moment as I'm still expressing it. It's like, what do I really do? I wanna make sure everything goes right. So it added to my peace of mind having this and also being able to have the aftercare uh, lotion. It soothed everything, right? So anytime your hair kind of got dry, you feel the dryness, instead of itching yourself, you just soothe it with the lotion, right? So that was cool. Um, as the days progressed, right? So I really noticed, I would say, about day three. So about Thursday, I would say, I was like, all right, I kind of need a haircut. But I ended up going outside because I was really in the house, didn't want to sweat or anything like that, as we already talked about with, earlier in the video, uh, after like your aftercare regimen. So I haven't been working out or anything like that. But I went outside and as far as like, I felt like my hair was growing back, but I wasn't getting any like crazy looks from people or anything like that. Of course, you're wondering how you look, right? So you just kind of observing how everything looking. I haven't gotten any crazy looks um, from people at all. Did we go over price yet? Oh no, we haven't. So the price of it. So the price of everything, just to, to stop it there. Um, We'll get back to everything else later. For the price, so I paid uh, a little bit over his special that he's running right now. So he's running a special for $2,500. I paid a little bit over that. So you might be wondering right about now, just with the price aspect of things, do I think it's worth it? Yes, I would say for me, price aspect of things, I feel like it's completely worth it, guys. Completely worth it. Um, from the peace of mind aspect, no matter if you are in content creation or not, right? So I have reasons with myself, you know what I'm saying, being in consecration and entertainment and things like that, it's like, all right, you know what I'm saying? You wanna put your, feel your best self. You wanna feel the best you possibly feel, right? So as far as the feeling aspect of things, you may be wondering, with myself, I feel like your feeling comes inside out, right? So not just because the hairline's looking good and all that, it's also because I feel lighter. And the reason I feel lighter is because I'm not thinking about my hair. So as far as feeling more confident, it comes from that. I feel, I, I feel lighter. I feel like I'm not thinking about my hair or whatever. But one thing I am thinking about, just to get back to the actual uh, hair aspect of things, and like I said, people looking at me or whatever. So at day three, uh, now that you know the price aspect of things, you gotta figure out if it's worth it for yourself. It's completely different, right? If it's worth it for you, it's worth it for you. And also there are different tiers as far as, you know what I'm saying, people. What I wanna say about both of them real quick, um, Majestic and Taylor Perry, and he, they're both like great as far as artist-wise. Majestic was explaining some stuff, you know what I'm saying, in the, the actual video, like doing videos, and that's like what he does as far as his marketing techniques, which is really cool knowing that the person that you're getting your stuff done by is, you know, I got the educational part down pat. And with Taylor Perry, he teaches other people how to do it. So that aspect of things led it for the price for me to feel worth it. But there are other people that are just starting off in the field whom you may be able to, you know what I'm saying, add to their uh, portfolio. So it may be, you know, a beginner's kind of price. And just because it is a beginner price, it does not technically mean that they are you know what I'm saying, not good, right? So for myself, if you may be wondering, the reason why I decided to go with somebody who was not a beginner is simply because I understand the experience aspect of things, right? So sometimes you can't really, experience can be priceless, guys. There's some things you just can't account for until you come across it. So with somebody just starting off, they may have not come across certain things that they may have to, right? So. All of that being said, does not mean that the quality of work would be any less. So just what about what works for you and what gives you peace of mind? For me, peace of mind is priceless. Just to go back to everything else, for the first haircut, this is where I'm basically getting at. So day three, I did not cut my hair until today, which is day five. On day three, I felt like my hair was going back, but I went outside, nobody's looking at me funny or anything like that. I just was able to look in the mirror and actually look at every little thing, right? So, but I still was feeling good. Like, I, either way, I'm feeling good about it. It's not about anything else. Um, been getting, I say, positive feedback all, all in all, uh, just, you know what I'm saying, with people or whatever, so that's been cool. Uh, it's, it's a noticeable difference, guys, like it really is. But one thing I can say, today being my first haircut, um, my first haircut that I actually did entirely, right? So this is my first time ever cutting my hair. Um, I feel like when, when regarding the SMP, so as I showed you guys the video earlier, uh, if you noticed in that video, my hair was darker right up here at the top, right? So this is one thing I want you guys to know right here, right now, understand. This is not a hair channel, right? This channel is a lot more than that, right? We're actually dedicated to 
impacting your life by helping you guys expect success by, expect success by giving you daily doses of success, right? So this being said, this is not a hair channel, but I do understand this is part of my journey, part of my experience, so I want to share with you. So this will be the only video that has anything to do with hair. So I want to lay it all out for you guys, which is why I wanted to wait a little bit and give you guys that haircut, just the review of my haircut. So that being said, understanding that this is the only video we're doing of that, you can still keep track of the haircut journey by being able to click on this Kajobi link right there. It got all of our links to our social media pages, everything that you guys definitely want to follow uh, as the journey continues, okay? So this being said though, right here, I feel like with the hair, um, right here it should have been, I should keep this longer, right? Because it'll blend, it'll blend all of that, right? So the redness is pretty much fading away. Here we are, it's day, the morning of uh, day five, uh, Saturday morning, got it done Monday. The redness is faded pretty much like all the way, not near as red as it was. But right here, either way it goes, if you ask me about it, it needs to be darker. So that's just things that, you know, as a rookie barber, <laughs> as a rookie barber, I gotta get better at, but it's also, it's good to know the contrast, make sure you guys can see it, especially like right there, because it's like right there, it's cool, and then right there, and then there's a little redness still right there, but right there just gotta be darker. And cutting the back of my hair was no breeze for myself. It was not a breeze because I'm over here looking in mirrors, looking at both of the mirrors, like how do I do it? Um, so that being said, guys, wanted to share this contrast with you though, right? Because even this morning, I decided to cut my hair, go get some breakfast. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna have a good day. Um, I did, this was before I actually went and got the clippers that I'm gonna be using. So I just got some better clippers right now as well. I use the clippers I've already been using for about a year, uh, you know, for other areas. So that being said, for the actual hair aspect of things, I went out this morning and, you know, in my head I'm thinking about, because I'm like, I can, I can tell, because I'm like looking at the actual transition aspect of things. But going out again, nobody looking at me like crazy, nothing. I'm actually getting, I'm getting positive feedback, guys. It's, it's, it's good, it's good. Um, it looks it looks natural, it looks normal. Um, when I say positive feedback, I'm just speaking on me, who I am as a person. Naturally, I talk to people, right? And I can just tell body language and your mind and how you feel in the energy and all that. So I can just keep that. So that being said, feedback is good. But um, in my mind, I was thinking like, ah, but it's also because I'm expecting it, I'm looking at it. If you're a stepper right now, if you're watching this, you know what the, the video is about. So you've probably seen that. When he got on, he probably like, okay, y'all can tell a little bit as I, as I was shaking my head. But the good thing is, guys, you can always try again. Like I said, I got the Clippers, so I'm ready to get tried again. Um, and I'm going to wait for a little bit because I want to make sure everything is healing property with my hair itself. So probably he'll try it again on Monday. Go ahead and cut it Monday, Tuesday, cut it again just to see. And also, as, the, the, as everything grows back, I'll be able to tell as well. Um... Right now, guys, that's everything when it comes to this S&P, man. I'm, uh, overall, like I said, do I recommend this to a friend, friend or colleague or, or associate? <laughs> would you recommend this to a friend? Yes, I would recommend it to a friend. I've already given you my spill earlier in the video about who I recommend you get it done by. It's something where it's whatever gives you peace of mind. So this being said, for myself, you already know what I chose but I do recommend you get it done if you are feeling like you want to get it done. And one thing I wanna leave you guys with, um, and it was really huge for me, uh, there's this guy, his name was Good Life Joe. When I was looking up everything, just so I'm saying, making sure if I wanna get it done or not, uh, he did a whole bunch of videos, right? A whole bunch of videos. And he did videos about celebrities who've gotten things done and all type of stuff. And you know what I'm saying, that's for you guys to figure out on your own, not about the name drop people. But what I wanna just say is, as far as Good Life Joe, I want to thank him because one thing he said at the end of his video was, don't be afraid to be happy. And that really just, it gives me goosebumps right now. Don't be afraid to be happy when you really think about that, guys. Um, and also, I want to leave you with fortune favors the brave as well. That's something that I live by, and you've probably heard it before, but it's a real thing, guys. Um, when it comes to not being afraid to be happy, you, for myself, I was like, you know, what if, what if, what if, as far as I was not even like being negative with the what ifs, but I was kind of thinking about what people may think about me and also what if the, the, the worst, whatever. But I just also, what if the positive side of things and forget what people think about you, what if this makes you happy? What, like, what if it's happy, right? Right, what if it, you enjoy the process? 
So if you're thinking about doing something that, you know what I'm saying, that fits your means and that fits your lifestyle, whatever it may be, uh, do it. And don't be afraid to be happy is what I want to tell you guys as well. So Stepper, um, as it pertains to how this procedure will heal and the next phase of it, and the next procedure I get done, again, uh, connect with us. We're on Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Twitter. Uh, connect with the journey and um, our goal here, our mission is to impact your life on a daily basis, right? By having you expect success, changing your thought patterns to expect success with daily doses of success is the mission here with Steps to Success, okay? And there's more changes happening with the brand itself, so um, definitely keep, uh, keep posted. But if nothing else, until next time, you beautiful steppers out there. If you don't do nothing else, love yourself and get the stuff in.